meditation? Is that also in terms of a stress release and all that? Yeah, oh yeah, no, absolutely. It, you know, it just help, helps me focus on my breathing because, you know, let's be honest, when you got 100,000 on you, you know, there are a lot of the emotions going on there and it's important for me to stay at a, you know, this the entire game. I want to stay steady. You know, I make a good kick, great. You know, I hit a ball that I know I could have hit better. That's okay. I just got to focus on my breathing, stay calm, and uh, yeah, just stay at that even level. Is that as important as being a good kicker, like being able to kick the ball? Yeah, no, I think it's just, I think it's a part. I think it's a big part of being a kicker. And, um, you know, when you sort of um, incorporate into your routine, I think that's where you find, or at least I found the most success was incorporating in my routine. Because in my opinion, your routine is who you are. Your preparation says a lot about your confidence. So I'm, I'm a big routine guy. When did that start for you? Um, you know, I just, I, I've been focusing on it this, this past year specifically, but, you know, I, I've done it in previous years too, but um, I'm really incorporating in my routine. I want to make sure I establish a good routine going out there and uh, make sure, you know, I have a weekly routine as well. So what, what's your, what's a day in the off season like for you as you prepare to continue to be the kicker? <sighs> yeah, I mean, a day in the off season is, I mean, it varies day to day, but the biggest thing is being consistent. You know, if it's an upper body day, a lower body day, or maybe I'm focusing on stretching, just making sure I'm being as consistent as possible and, uh, yeah, just working on as, as, as much as I can to be the best team player. I say like Nick Bosa used to stretch like an hour a day. Do you have that beat? Uh, I'm sorry. Do you have Do you have that beat like Nick Bosa would stretch for yeah. like an hour a day? Yeah, no. Yeah, like I said, I was just saying I stretched before. Um, you know, right when I wake up and right before I go to bed and throughout the day too. I just, I love stretching so much. I don't know, there's just, there's the feel to it, you know, getting loose just makes your body feel good and I love it. Love getting in the water too. I'm a big swimmer, so that, that sort of helps me out too. Has your pop, for one of another term, improved over the last several years? Yeah, no. And how can you judge, how do you judge that? Yeah, no, like today I, I felt as though I had really good pop on the ball. We had a good field goal session. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing, like I was touching on a little bit earlier, is confidence. You know, just telling yourself the same thing every time. You have a good routine, and when you prepare, you know, constantly, um, I think that helps with the, the confidence. Because, you know, when you're preparing, you, you hit from every spot in the field, every situation. You know, there's nothing you haven't seen before. So you go out there with full confidence, you're not thinking, and you swing hard. So. How much margin of error do you have on your foot? Um, from a contact standpoint you know I don't know I don't know that much that's a good question but um, you know my biggest thing is just what the term I use is just leading with my knee so when I'm when I'm leading with my knee and my foot gets to the ball fast I know I'm, I know I'm hitting a good ball but yeah there's there's probably not much more than an inch I want to hit left or right on my foot yeah. Yeah, one, one last, thing. last year when you're kind of thrust into it what did that do for you? Obviously, you stepped to the plate yeah. and delivered. But what did that do for you going into this year, having yeah. already been baptized, so to oh, speak? Oh, yeah, no, it's it, it's awesome. And having a guy like, you know, Sean Nuremberger there to help me out mentally, physically, just being my big brother and helping me out, that was huge. And to go into the game and be able to, you know, execute – uh, at, at a high level, it, it definitely gave me confidence and, you know, experience. And knowing you're the guy now, as yeah. opposed to fighting for a job, yeah. how does that change things for you? Well, like, you know, I always like to look at it like I always have something to prove. You know, I want to be the elite of the elite um, for this team. I want to be that guy that, you know, they have confidence in the semi out there for, a, you know, game winning kick or a kick before a half or a long kick, short kick, whatever that may be. I just want them to have confidence in me and uh, always play with that chip on my shoulder because I always feel like I got something to prove. Hey, one last thing.